All right, y'all. So it literally took me forever to identify or figure out how to put my letters that were in Interpolio into AMCAS, but I figured it out and I know how to do it. So I'm going to explain it to y'all. Okay, so when you go to your AMCAS application, there is a specific section for your letters of evaluation. And when you get to that particular section, you're going to go ahead and click add a letter request. Once in your add letter request, you can select the letter type. So whether that's a committee letter, a letter packet or individual letter. For me personally, my school doesn't do committee letters or letter packets. So I did all individual letters. So you can go ahead and select individual letter and then you will name the letter title. For me personally, I decided to do the name of the person submitting the letter, the um, kind of like type of supervision that they were for me. So like if it was a science professor, if it was a principal investigator, and then followed that up with the name of the institution. And that's how I named my letters. From there, you'll click next and then you'll add the institution which your letter writer is like for or with. And the only options that come up on my end are the two universities that I attended along with other or that the author is not associated with a school. So choose the option that makes the most sense. And then you'll click next and from there you have all of the author information. So you'll go in, go ahead and add the first name of the author, the last name, phone number, the title of the author, their organization name, email, confirming their email, and then you'll click next. Once you have done that, AMCAS will generate a request ID, which I believe is like a certain digit and no, it's a certain letter and number code that is associated with the letter. I forgot to say that when you create the entry for the letter, um, you will be followed up with a prompt about whether or not you want to send uh, like the confirmation to the person writing your letter about them needing to fill out the letter. If you use Interfolio, then you won't want to do this and you'll select no and an email won't be sent to that person because you already have their letters in Interfolio. All right, now you are going to head on over to Interfolio and hopefully you've paid for your subscription with Dozier, which I think is like 59, 60 ish dollars for uh, your subscription. And on the sidebar, this section here, you are going to go ahead and click deliveries. And then in the top right hand corner, you will select new delivery. So once you select that, what you'll want to do is find an opportunity. And that is said right here. So here it says find an opportunity. That's what you're going to use. And then what I did, I went ahead and searched AMCAS and then all of these options came up. So there's one for 2024, one for 2025, one for 2026. If you are applying to the 2026 um, or to start and matriculate in the class of 2026, you're going to go ahead and select this one, American Medical, Medical College Application Service, AMCAS 2026 Letters of Recommendation. Once that is done, it'll prompt you to start an application. So you'll go ahead and select start an application. From there, you should be seeing this as an option. So you'll go ahead and select add documents. After you select add documents, all of the files and documents and letters of rec that you've hopefully already collected will show up in there. So what you'll want to do is select all of the documents that are letters of recommendation that you will be submitting to AMCAS. So once you've added all of the documents, you will go ahead and select next. And then after that, you will select continue. Once you select continue, the um, letter will kind of generate like an ID that is associated with Interfolio. And then to the side of the letter on the right hand side, you will have the option to input the ID type. You'll go ahead and select request ID which was what was generated by the AMCAS application system. And then you'll go back to AMCAS, um, copy the request ID, and then input it into the Interfolio system under the section that says request ID. After that, you'll select save letter IDs, and then you will click submit. One thing that's important to know is that you can only send a max of eight letters at a time. And in AMCAS, you can only have a maximum of 10 letters total. So if you have 10 letters total, 
then you would have to make two separate deliveries in Interfolio, one with eight and one with two or one with five and another one with five. And it might take a little while for um, like these to process in the system of AMCAS. So you should get a confirmation email from Interfolio saying that the letters have been sent. And for me, I did this at kind of like, I think like five days ago, May 5th. And today I uh, received a confirmation email from AMCAS and it basically says that the um, letter of evaluation request has been successfully fulfilled. So I went to go check on AMCAS to see if it looks like it's good to go, if it's been delivered. And this is what the letter request status says. It says that the request was fulfilled today. And it says this for all of my letters, which means that you're good to go. Your letters of recommendation have been received by AMCAS and yeah. So this process was slightly complicated, but hopefully this video will help you guys out because I know that I was lost and it took me a good two-ish hours, two to three hours to figure out how to even do this process. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them.